Charles Davis III, U.S. Army veteran. I served from 1982 to 85. Last tour of duty was um, Korea. Came back to the States and wasn't too good. I mean, I had a lot of issues going on, so ended up becoming homeless. Ran into a um, outreach, a veteran from outreach in one of the churches when I was eating lunch. And he asked if there was any veterans in the group, please raise your hand. And he had something to offer us, which was a program out here in Menlo Park, where you go and work on your issues, talk to other veterans who have the same issues that you have, uh, learn a little bit about yourself and how to keep yourself clean and sober. And I was pretty much blessed with the job here at the VA. I work with spinal cord veterans, I work with visually impaired veterans, and I also work with um, the long-term care veterans. It filled that void that I had. I, I finally found a purpose in life when I came here and got this job. 2008 was introduced to the National Veterans Golden Age Games. They have things like bowling, bocce ball, shuffleboard, they have golf, swimming, track and field with javelin, shot put discus, cycling, air rifle, air pistol, table tennis, nine ball, I've known a lot of veterans to get phone numbers from guys who they just met and they stay in contact with them. They look forward to competing against each other the next year. They check on each other and the camaraderie is off the chain. I'm on a quest to lose my spare tire, I guess. <laughs> I got a long ways to go. <laughs> That's three spare tires. Yeah, it is. Most people only got a six pack, I got a keg. <laughs> my background is alcoholic and, and drug abuse and I'm very inclined to isolate so getting involved with the team and in the games has been very beneficial to me not only physically but mentally. The last one we attended was 2019 was in Anchorage, Alaska and we had almost 950 veterans from all over the United States participated. You know when you're my age and you're retired and you're isolated you start to wonder about the meaning and purpose of life. And, you know, just to find out that there, the, there are these games and uh, several of the events I used to do pretty well. I used to be a bicyclist, dabbled in swimming. I've been playing golf since I was 14. I just saw it as an opportunity to get out of my shell, to get out of that isolation and have something to train for, something to inject meaning and purpose. I was involved in bocce ball up there. Me and a good friend of his, we played doubles, and we actually took gold. There's been days I didn't care if the sun rose the next day in my life. And this, this is something that I find gives me a drive or a want, maybe a need to, to do something, you know? You know, it's just something to look forward to and to meet people that we've met along the way, especially those who have done this before. You know, they, they may have seen each other once a year at the games and, you know, reminisce and gives purpose to life. The Golden Age Games opened up a lot of windows for me right now. I mean, like I say, I'm working with so many different veterans with different disabilities that, you know, be, for me, I never thought I would be able to do something like that. I mean, being a homeless guy out there on the streets, I, coming to the VA and working with veterans like this, what I'm doing, I, was, I, I never could imagine that 10 years ago. But I'm so grateful and so honored to be a part of the VA system here and go with the next game.